Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to another daily deal. This is a vintage retro children's junk journal kit. Um, those who are near, new here, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. This is the children's, like I said, junk journal kits are done and released and they're in the shop now. If you want to grab your pack today, down below is the direct link. There's a drop down menu plus in the comment board, I had added the shop link for you guys to have a direct link to get to if you're having a hard time. If you have any questions, just message me down below um, and I will do my best to help you out. There's only, only 21 kits. And what's cool about these kits, you get to choose your junk journal cover. Uh, when you go to listing, um, when you click on that link, it'll take you directly to the Etsy shop. Um, it'll have a drop down menu and it will have uh, these books named. And in the pictures above in that listing, you can see which book and what book number you choose when you do choose your book kind of thing. I'm going to show you every book cover that is available to you guys. What I'm doing is I'm giving away the book cover of the books that I had used for the paper packs. Now there are so many papers in here. We're at about 150 plus papers um, total. I'm thinking we're nearing 200. Um, <laughs> so we'll go through here um, and you'll see what I mean. I just kind of pack these guys up. I did, um, since it is Vintage Retro Children, I did dredge out some of my vintage 1930s uh, reproduction prints, fabrics, and created you guys a tab pack, which I'll go through each one of those uh, colors here in a little bit. But it's the reproduction prints of the 30s pieces of kinds of fabrics. And I thought they would be awesome tabs um, or, you know, different things for your journal. They made them rather large. So if you want to do tabs or you want to clusters, what have you, you have that. You'll be getting, um, 10, uh, retro buttons, which I'll show you kind of here. They're all different, but similar, but they are totally vintage. So my goal for this kit was to be totally vintage. Um, so the price for this kit, I was having a hard time, uh, cause there's so much in it. So I was just going to say $28. It's free shipping if you spend $35 or more in the shop. I do have some retro children items in the shop. If you want to take a peek, if you wanted the free shipping, just add a few more things to your cart, like a few more dollars, because I think it's $28, 9 30 uh, 6 7 just like $7 worth of something. And pretty much with that free shipping, you'll be getting that product for free as well. So just take a peek at that. My goal is to make this affordable and um, and all that. So the weight of this, um, the one reason why I didn't do the free shipping is um, it's over a pound. Now, so the weight for this is since it's over a pound, the non-free shipping cost is going to be around, I think the next rate, because a pound or less is like, I think the rate's going to be like six bucks. Um, but over a pound, it's going to be in the range between seven or eight dollars to ship. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. It is a rather heavy pack, but you'll see you get a ton of pieces in here. Again, 100% vintage, and I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, if you're interested, like I said, down below is a direct link, um, or continue watching if you like. Okay. I figured I will go ahead and share with you guys the book covers of choice. And then as you can see here, I have the book cover in a pack. So if you do choose this book cover, this is the pack you are getting. So again, this is the book cover that comes with this pack. It's called Bedtime Stories, adorable pictures. A Ram McNally book had the most beautiful, colorful pages. So that is that book cover. You'll see it in the shop. It's going to be called Bedtime Stories in the listing. So the another one we have here, since Christmas is coming, I did add a little Christmas in this kit. So the Rudolph uh, junk journal cover is in this kit right here. So when you go to listing, just type in, you know, when you look, look for the name of the book Rudolph um, and then add that to your cart. And then here's this one here. It's Bambi. And again, what you see, just wait, you guys see the pages in this. It's awesome. And it's a vintage retro Walt Disney one. So it had uh, no barcode. So. All right, I did do papers from the book. Um, it's called With uh, Wings to Adventure, which was an amazing book with a bunch of cool vintage retro children's book pages and stories. That's a really cool book. If you guys need measurements, just message me. Um, they're pretty good size books. All right, the next one I have here is, I think I did, okay, Introduction to Chemical Science. It was a 19, I think, 20s book. It is a brown. I don't know if you can see it in this here. So you'll see that one. All right, I'm getting there. <laughs> There's 21 to show you guys before we get into the junk journal kit. Then I have Junior Hymns and Carols. I don't know if oops, had a glare, sorry. Beautiful book of carols. I had added pages into your guys' this kit here, which is gorgeous. And this is a really neat book. 
And of course I had put in a vintage Dumbo book pages. I tried to avoid Walt Disney as much as possible. So I think the only ones I did was Dumbo. Um, the other one you just seen. Let me grab the other books. We'll find out here in a minute. All right. We got Greg Studies. Uh, that is another awesome children's handwriting script type of book pages, which was so cool. It's an introduction on how to write and all that. So that's the book pack you'll be getting in with that. In each book pack, you will be getting exactly what's going to be seen in here um, in your pack. This one here is one of my favorites, The Music Hours, one of my favorite, favorite books. It's a green and um, a navy blue, if you can see there. Um, now, these junctional covers are the fronts and the backs. Some of the spines are not working, which you can create your own journal spine, obviously. But um, this one here is an amazing book. I'll show you when I get to the pages in the pack what they look like. All right, what's the next one? The first course in algebra is this one. This one's like a brown book as well with like a navy blue, if you can see there. Again, just message me if you're wanting the certain measurements. All right, this one's cool. Developing your language. I don't know if anyone remember using that one. Um, awesome book pages. This is a good, rather large size book too, um, as well. So again, just message me. We have Prayers for Children book pages in there, and this is the book cover that comes with this pack, whoever chooses Prayers for Children. Making a mess over here. This one here, Think About God, Two Stories About My Day. Really cool retro children's book. I loved it. How to use it. All right, the Nutcracker is in there. I put a little bit of Nutcracker. It was a really good book. Good pages as well, especially a little bit of Christmas going on in the retro children. All right, A Book of God's Gifts, another beautiful retro children's book, golden book cover, um, and back as well. It's a kit you could choose. Oh, this is my all-time favorite one, Young Years. I put in some beautiful Head of Fables, Fairy Tales, um, all kinds of really good book pages. But whoever gets, this one's called Young Years, um, you will get that book cover. And every book cover you get to, I left the original papers in there as well like the introduction and things like that. Plain and solid geometry. This was an oldie. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, the sun's shining in today. A really dark brown book with a deep dark brown, um, almost like a reddish brown core for here, by on its side here. Um, there should be two or three more. Let's see here. All right, we got this one here. It's a small Rand McNally book as well. It's called Firefighters. I thought I had to throw in a little bit of boy in there, right? <laughs> and uh, that one there's a really good one too and then we have oopsie all right we got it all right thought i almost like accidentally hit the keyboard and it almost pauses all right so koala bears adorable book um pages that are in these packs as well another ram mcnally book that's the cover you get for that pack and one more i think what do I have here? We did firefighters, didn't we? Yes, we did. I know I got one more. Number 21. All right. So I did put a religious book in there, especially um, with uh, different holidays that are coming up. I figured it would be great. And I put the calendar type of retro book pages from this book here. The I think it's called the bumper book. And this one, it's got the four different pictures. It's really cool. So there is that. Now let's dig into this kit. That took eight minutes. <laughs> I was hoping to be faster. Again, you guys seen the retro fabric prints, which I thought were awesome. A great addition to this. I was going to paper clip them to the book pages like I've done in the past children's kits, but I figured I'm going to, in this kit, I'm just going to leave them flat because some people don't want them wrinkled. Yes, believe it or not, some people like their fabrics just to be like this and they'll do what they want with them kind of thing, which saves me from paper clipping a lot of papers, so which is fine. So you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see the circus kind. Of course, you have to have the polka dots and the different other prints here. So I made sure it was retro boy, girl, and then buttons. Let's see here. Like I said, every kit's different with buttons, but I will have a combination of red, green, white, blue, and yellow to keep the retro trend going on. You can see all my <laughs> rubber bands. There you go. You'll have 10 buttons, which is a great um, thing as well, along with your fabrics. All right. I'm not sure if I should go in the doodads first or what, but here is the bumper book to kind of give you guys an idea. This is the largest book 
uh, cover that the person uh, and whoever gets whatever kit gets pretty large. And I want to give you guys an example of, you know, what I had kept with a book. So whoever gets whatever book cover, I kept the original papers that I can't really put into kits, but someone else could possibly use. So the baby bumper, sorry, bumper, the bumper book. I'm sorry, I'm calling it baby bumper. Um, so these are going to be in it. That's additional. That's free. That goes with the kit. And who knows, maybe someone whoever gets this can cut these things out kind of thing. So whoever gets the bumper book has got a lot of really cool, like see this one's kind of ripped and I couldn't really throw it in a kit. So I just gave it to whoever gets this book cover. Ah, oh, this is really cool. I don't know if you can see this. It's like a corner pocket, like a library corner pocket. If I can get it. There you go. Can you see? Oh, that, that was cool. So whoever gets this, I imagine you can create some really cool children's book with that. So this goes with, this is going to be called kit number one anyway. So whoever gets this kit knows this is what they're getting. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Very good. All right. So two really vintage uh, bingo cards. Like I said, this is a vintage kit. They're not thick chipboard. They're like lightweight. Um, and you can see the difference. You get two of those, a green children's flashcard, a random children's postcard. This one here has nothing on back. If you guys see me use this in the past, I've had a bunch of these. All right, so here we go. The little doodads. Let's go with the little stuff first. Why not, right? And I'll use this to bring it up to you guys. I guess I could zoom in, but why? And I could just do extra work. <laughs> All right, so this kit I put, I don't know if you guys remember the vintage slides. I put, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six vintage Kodak slides in each, and they each have like a really cool picture in them. So can't beat that, right? Um, I don't know how many of these tags I got. Ton of tags. I got this from an Etsy shop that I'll link down below. Um, I was just helping a fellow Etsy shop owner and I thought, well, I'll just throw these really cool things in the kit. They're really cute little uh, tags that you can use. It has a little hole there. You can put a little tie through it kind of thing. You have a bunch of those, all different retro colors. Um, and then some playing cards. These are tiny, tiny playing cards. And then different game cards kind of thing. All right, retro children's playing cards. And uh, you can see here, I try to keep it as children themed as possible. You can see there. You'll get two of these little coin pockets, little guys. Uh, of course, Monopoly, we got some, you get a couple of these cards here and a ton of different game type of papers. This is like a 70s game. I forgot what children's game it is. It was about money and banking. I just thought it was cool. So here's life. I think the life and just different, uh, I'm upside down here. <laughs> different things. I figured a lot of little additional things in a retro color for your guys' kit. So I'm going to get through these really quick. See, different play money from different vintage games. Here's Monopolies. There we go. Again, can you see, I kind of like caked on a bunch of little doodads there for you guys. So there's that. Now let's get into the beautiful pages. Again, like I said, we're around about 150-ish uh, when it comes to the um, papers. And this is from that bump baby bumper book kind of thing. Fold it in half, kind of give you guys an idea. Isn't that just gorgeous? All the pages in that book were, were gorgeous. These are the different pages from the Rand McNally books. You can kind of see the color. I'm a huge fan of Rand McNally. You can see, gorgeous. Oh, look at those kitty witties. Now this kit here, first come first serve. If you said, hey, Selena, I want this one, you run on over to the shop. It would be the first one. It would be that bumper book. You run on over there and you grab it before it's gone. So exactly what I'm showing you is exactly in that one kit with that baby bumper book. So. I can't, I don't have time to go through each pack. I wish I did. This here came from that uh, vintage book, the green one, which was really cool. It had a bunch of music pages. Look how gorgeous. Give you an idea. I put a bunch of the beautiful music pages in there for you guys. Try to get the most colorful as possible. Prayers for children book. I can tell that a mile away. That's the golden books. Looks like we're into the golden books that I've shown you guys that we can pick kind of thing. So these are the golden book pages to show you how many types of golden book pages. The Bambi. Can't beat Bambi. And what's really cool, like I said, I mean, it's perfect for your journaling. 
as well. All right, so I'm kind of flipping kind of fast to give you an idea. Now these here, I think these are the, um, this is Dumbo. Again, I tried not to get too much into Disney. There it is. Looks like we've got Winnie the Pooh. There we go. Look at that child. Oh my. All right. Here it looks like this was from a Disney book. I kind of just threw it in there. I loved it. I couldn't throw it away. And look at this. This book belongs to. Could you imagine that? Once you have it in a journal, that'd be like one of the last pages. Towards the end, we'd have to go this way. Really cool. All right. So there's that one book I told you is my all-time favorite. Fairy Tales. You kind of have an idea what those book pages are like. I got chance is a rather thick book, so I had the opportunity to put a bunch of really cool pages in them. Oh, Tales of Peter Rabbit in this one. Lucky one person who gets this. Again, I made them all so beautiful that um, what I'm showing you is a surprise to myself because I didn't know which this pack had. I just kind of grabbed a pack. Hush bye, baby. They're all filled with a lot of beautiful classics. Oh, we got Santa in this one. Oh, there you go. This is a good page. Maybe I should keep that one. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, here's this the one book, um, the one I told you a lot of children's uh, stories and stuff like that and totally retro. I kept it one uh, one length. How do I explain that? One paper signature, so in case you want to tie it in. Aha. Look how cool. Gorgeous, right? And that book had the most beautiful pages. Had to throw it in there. Oh, it looks like there's a book here I didn't show you guys. I do have, um, uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Norman Rockwell. Oh my God, I couldn't had to think of his name. Had a Norman Rockwell book, which I had, I was able to put two or three really cool pages in. Here we go. Look at that. Norman Rockwell. Can't beat him, right? Husband's on the phone. Seems like every time I video record, he's either cleaning or he's on the phone. This is the fairy tale one. What do we got here? Snow White's in this one. Again, you guys are going to absolutely love. I got, oh, there's a book here I didn't show you that has pages of poems, children's poems. So there's children's poems in here as well. Again, I told you guys I had, oh, yep, this is another book I didn't tell you. So about six or seven pages of Alice in the Wonderland is in this as well. And you can kind of see. Not colorful, it's like the black and white. But you can see here I have a bunch of pages of Alice in the Wonderland. Which, hey, can't beat that, right? Oh, yes, I forgot. All right, time cards. All right, so again, down below I put a direct link to a Mitzi shop owner that I went to. And I had purchased these cute little weekly time record cards from. And I, I folded one to show you. I put two in each. You kind of see these are little bitty witty tiny ones so I put two of those in there and then in my shop I sell these in my shop I had the larger ones so you can kind of see the difference in size my size and this is a smaller size I put two in it as well and I wanted to show you how they're called trifold time cards kind of thing and this is what it looks like flat before you fold it together I put four of these in here children's flashcards you can see here I did four because I've seen where people made journals with them, with the rings. They put the rings in it and the ring journals. So I put two just in case you guys wanted to make two of them kind of thing. Here's another couple time cards. I sell these in my shop as well. I think packs of 50. But um, I put two of those in there, little time cards. All right. Vintage dictionary, children's dictionary. I think it's five or ten pages of this very colorful it totally, I thought, would go really well with the retro. Um, dictionary pages. Picture dictionaries pages. Cool, huh? Beautiful pack. I thought so. And then vintage typewriter papers. I put, I think, three. Look how retro. So it's totally vintage retro typewriter book teaching about typewriting and how to type. Remember those days? I don't think they do that anymore, do they? Kind of see. All right, and these are all those vintage uh, books about geometry and chemistry. And you can see I had put, oh my gosh, I made sure when I unbound those vintage books, I did it to where um, you can tie them in to your signatures instead of ripping page by page. How cool is that, huh? 
So this is looks like here, the geometry. I'm trying to give you guys an idea how many pages. All right, here's another book. Kind of flip through here. Same thing. I cut the pages and you can see the pictures to where if you want to tie them in yourself, you can. And then of course this is, I think this is the one about the handwriting, right? I think so. It is. Yep. See? The Greg's, I think it was Greg what? Greg Speed Studies. I knew the name. I just couldn't think. So I kept it one full pages like this in case you guys want to tie them in. It had pictures. I imagine that's him, right? I don't know who that is. <laughs> but it was part of the book. Cool, right? All right, here's another one of those vintage books. Same thing. I think this is the one about chemistry. It was really cool. All right, and then this here. Uh, let me think here. I think this was the big learning book. Like I told you about, it was really cool. Again, I kept the full page. There's another one of the full pages. Isn't that cool? Well, I think I nailed it, guys, right? Told you I was going to get you retro children, and I did. I'm sure there's a bunch more I could have just added to this, but I... Another one of those baby bumper, bummer books, or I forgot the name already, guys. Pages. There you guys have it. Run on over there. Grab your pack while you can. Stay tuned. I have the vintage. Um, oh, my gosh. My brain just went bloop. <laughs> we have the vintage... Um, Victorian junk journal kits be coming up next. I don't know if it's today or if it's going to be another day. I will keep you guys um, up, you know, and understand when that's going to happen. I do know if you join the Facebook group, down below is the Facebook group information. I will have always updates on what's coming up and how soon things are going to happen for you. So then um, you can be prepared to get a kit before it sells out. So down below is all that information. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just message. I hope you absolutely love the children's junk journal kits. These are all the items that I found at the junk in my trunk the last few times. And I just kind of just threw it all together. Again, don't forget to down below, check out the Etsy shop um, that I mentioned. Um, her information's down below. She has a bunch of vintage, I'm saying vintage so much, I'm saying vintage. She has a bunch of newer um, type of tags and things like that that you can add to your junk journal kits and our prices are amazing so check her out guys you guys have a great day bye